All right, so you can hear the intermittent uh, um, arc, and it coincides with this clicking inside the machine. And as you can also notice, the fan is not on. So, so does it cut? Yes. Does it cut like it's supposed to? No. And the fan doesn't come on, and so I've just run it for a few seconds, and then I'm going to shut it off and so it doesn't melt. Zenny Cut 50, whether I'm going to exchange it or uh, just get my money back and try a different brand or something else, or I don't know what. Uh, too many choices out there, really. So... <clears throat> but I think one of the things I would want to do different if I get another one is get one with the pressure, air pressure gauge on the front and the switch on the front, the power switch on the front. Um, just the little bit I've tried to use this trying to make see if it's working or not and giving it a chance or two. Reach around the back trying to find the switch. It's kind of in the middle at the bottom underneath some hoses. and uh, um, I can find it. It's not that big a deal. And obviously you can see that it's on, but when you turn it on and off and on and off, um, just a little bit of a hassle and if the pressure gauge is on the front here and you need to adjust your air pressure no big deal you're looking at it you just reach over and dial it right there pop the thing back down when you're done and uh, like this one if you have it on like a counter um, or like I do where I have to come around the back side here to see what the air pressure is then adjust it um, it's a little bit of a hassle so if you have it on a cart that's in the middle of your floor not that big a deal I guess to walk around the back um, but I think if I get another one, I just want to get those things that are on the front. So, And on another note, this is a um, off Amazon. I think it was about 80 bucks, 25 feet of 8-gauge 3-conductor. So um, it's sweet. I was looking at parts to build one because I've always built my cables before. And I say always, I've only built two. But um, I found that you can't build it for... And save a whole lot of money. I think I came up with like 65 or 70 bucks, and uh, on Amazon parts for the wire and the int plugins. So I just went ahead and bought this, and uh, it's a done deal. And so this will be nice for the plasma cutter or for my MIG welder. Now I won't have to drag the MIG welder when I run it on 220 um, over to this side of the uh, garage here because um, it doesn't have a very long cord on. It's only like six feet as well, six or seven feet. So a little bit of a hassle to drag everything over here when I just need to run 240 and weld something a little bit heavier. So that cord will be nice. So yeah, on the fence about the Zinni, I'll post down below what I end up doing with it.